Veterans for Peace elected official of the year. There are 119 legislators in Sacramento. A veteran for peace follows her voting record on issues important to veterans and issues important to the people of California. Most importantly, Veterans for Peace looks at how they vote on labor, health care, education, civil rights, and the war. Our elected member of the year passed our criteria with flying colors. She has advocated against the big corporate giant Walmart. I was one of the first legislators to question the secret negotiations of the Indian Green Compact. She advocated and co-sponsored Sen Senator Sheila Kiel's Single Payer Health Care for All, SB 840. She offered the Marriage Equality Bill for same-sex couples. She has stood with the people of California and has walked many rallies for immigration reform, driver license for immigrants, health care reform, education, and most importantly, a woman's right to choose. During the peace rallies last year, she joined protesters in a rally against the war. And if she doesn't mind, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out a quote. <clears throat> Something that she said at that peace rally. She called on President Bush. She said, President Bush, listen to the American people. We believe in this country. We have fought for this country. We vote in this country. The war is here at home, President Bush. We got to fight for education. We got to fight for health care, affordable housing, and we got to fight for the women to protect our bodies and to protect the right to choose. That was quoted by Senator Gloria Romero. That's a quote. She has been named by senior legislators as one of the hardest working legislators in Sacramento. She holds a PhD in psychology here in our own backyard from the University of California, Riverside. She was first elected to the State Assembly in 1998 and in 2001 won a special election to the Senate. As, as a Senate Majority Leader, she is the highest ranking woman in the California Legislature and the first woman to hold this leadership position. And I brought Jose Medina up here with, with uh, with Riverside Community College, because Jose also has some words to say regarding Senator. Thank you, Paul. When uh, Paul invited me to come here this afternoon, I jumped at the chance when I heard that Senator Romero was here, and uh, gave me a chance to say a few words. Before that, I'd like to share just something very quickly. Uh, for me, high school teacher, the war in Iraq, although I've seen my students go and come back, and as a community college teacher, I've seen the veterans come back and sit in our classrooms already. The war can still seem an abstraction, at least to me. This morning, as I got dressed to come to this event, my daughter, 27 years old, a reporter with the New York Times, called me in tears this morning, uh, right before I was getting here, saying that the New York Times had asked if she wanted to go to Iraq. And she was trying to make the decision with her boyfriend, whether she should go. And as a father, you know, I, I, I uh, right now, facing what to tell my daughter. So on the way over here, I, I spoke with Bill Hedricks, uh, the candidate for the congressional district, who's had two sons, one, one son who's still there in Iraq. And I'll tell you, it really comes home when you get a phone call like that. So I just wanted to mention that before I said anything else. Uh, it's indeed an honor to... Uh, introduce, help Paul introduce Senator Gloria Romero. Uh, she may not remember, but eight years ago, in 2000, I, I ran for the assembly against a two-time incumbent, a Republican here in a very Republican uh, uh, area. And Senator Romero was one of the few uh, incumbent legislators who took the time, met with me, offered me encouragement, and uh, you know, gave me good words, good advice on how to run. Senator Romero never uh, plays it easy, never takes, never plays it safe. Senator Romero is not afraid of taking chances, not afraid of stepping out outside of perhaps what might be the comfort zone for a lot of people. Senator Romero is always out there leading. 
I, I heard her recently at the uh, Southwest Voter Registration Dinner in Los Angeles, and wow, did she pack a wallet in her remarks. Everywhere that I see her, she is impressive. I recently also had a chance to hear her uh, give the introduction to, to Senator Barack Obama at LA Trade Tech. And I've, she was one of the first California uh, Latino legislators to come out for Senator Obama. And I know how much the Senator appreciates having Gloria Romero in her corner, his corner. So I, I want to thank Senator Romero for coming here. I appreciate the hard work that she does in the Senate, how she represents all the constituents. I, I think she does well in representing uh, community colleges. And it's just a real honor to be here to present this award uh, to Senator Romero. And if I could, let me read the plaque. Veterans for Peace, Inland Empire, 2007 State Legislator of the Year, Senator Gloria Romero, Senate Majority Leader, thank you for your tireless effort to help veterans, working families, and the cause of peace and justice. Senator Romero. They are the leaders of this organization. And today I'm here receiving this award from Veterans for Peace because I think at the end of the day what it means is that it's up to us what kind of a country we want. It's up to us to put the integrity and the respect and the dignity back into every office we elect, whether it's a trustee with the community college, whether it's a council member, an assembly member, a senator, a president, a congress member. It's up to us to say that we can do better and that we take the words of those important founding documents and hold them to heart. But words are only words unless we act on them. And so I want to thank you, because I know that you are true Americans. You are the Americans that will stand up to say, my country needs to li live up to the, its founding documents. And the only way that we will do that is if I stand up to hold my own country accountable. So it is, was my honor when I got the word that you were decided to bestow this award on me with great gratitude, as, with great uh, joy in my heart, I wanted to come today to be with you in Moreno Valley where you've lost three sons of your own and to join with you to call upon President Bush that we support our troops, bring them home. Bring them home safely, bring them home now, bring them home forever, no more war. We want peace. Thank you so very much for honoring me today. And I have a certificate, if I might present this at least in the end. I have a certificate. This is from the California State Senate, and this is a certificate of recognition that I want to present to you, Veterans for Peace, Joe Castro Chapter, in recognition of your dedication to promoting peace and progressive policies for veterans and all Californians. Si se puede, yes we can. Wow. You guys see, you guys see why she's our elected legislator of the year? Yeah.